Hi, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I have a real cute little mini I want to share with you today. I made it a, a, a little purse, and it's for Halloween. It's Graphic 45's uh, Halloween in Wonderland. And um, anyway, I just um, made me a template for a purse shape, and um, I used the tutorial that Belinda Acres has for a hairband binding on the you know on the bottom to attach it together and uh, um, I of course will put her link in the description below so that you can see that tutorial if you uh, need to and um, I used a hairband on the top to uh, close it with the uh, Tim Holtz hitch fastener and uh, added lots of ribbons and uh, on my front, this was just a piece that I got out of the paper. I used my circle punch and my scallop punch and um, titled it, of course, Halloween in Wonderland. And uh, you open it up. And I did just put one purse handle because I didn't want it getting in the way of you opening, you know, every time you opened your book. So I just attached one handle to the back. And you open it up. And let me get my ribbon here. You open it up and here is your first page and I used a um, large photo mat here. Um, added a flower here and I'm not sure if this is a prima. I, I think this almost might be a recollections flower. I can't remember. Um, and a couple of buttons. I cut him out and put him on some dimensionals. And um, here is a photo uh, little photo mats that I made. Um, I added this ribbon. I really like this ribbon. I found it at Michael's on the dollar bin. Um, and I bought it, and I liked it so much that I thought, well, I'll go back and get some more. And I was there this weekend, and of course they didn't have any. So anyway, this ribbon is so just really cute and easy to work with. I uh, cut out one of the little tag pieces that's in the paper, and then of course backed it in some black and green. And uh, you open it up, and here is two mats. And I put the little frog in between, and he's holding an invitation. And, of course, I used um, something that you could, well, that should, there we go, slide your picture under so that it doesn't uh, get caught, you know. Uh, it can slide right under. Uh, but anyway, I really like the little frog with the invitation. And you open it up here, and of course you have your photo mat and a little card here, and your photo mat and one of the little cards that I cut out here. And then on the next page, and of course you can see the hairband binding real good there, um, I simply made a, a pocket. I uh, set it up where you could put a couple of tags in it. And there is a tag back here. And for Halloween, I stamped it with Boo and a ghost. And they just set in there. This one is attached. It's just for decoration. And then added a couple little of the... I think these are Prima flowers here. And then this page, I have a photo mat and a place for your date or whatever it is you want there, a name. Added a button. This is one of those Manila Bright pockets. Um, that was on my last video that I showed you. I just uh, simply covered it. And this here pulls out, and it is a little pocket. Um, it was on Kathy Orta's channel, and she had a tutorial on it. Uh, mini pocket uh, something. I can't remember what she called it now. But anyway, I'll have the link to it in the description if you want to see the tutorial. And you untie it. And I did mine a little different than hers. Uh, but anyway, it opens up like this, and I simply cut these out of the paper and added them on the flap, because on the flap, I left a place for journaling on all three of them. So, and then you open it up, and you have a place for two photos there. And I did that on each one. And Kathy, she used hers for a pocket, is what she did. Uh, she just uh, put them down and used them for a pocket. But I wanted to use them for journaling, so. Uh, and this one's the same way. Just a couple of places for the photos. And then you just simply tie that back. 
And that's what actually will hold that top down is when you tie that. And I don't know if I can get it tied real quick here, but anyway, it just kind of holds that down for me uh, so it's not flapped open. <clears throat> but I like that little uh, pocket uh, thing there, that little mini. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. and It was just the right size to fit in that that little pocket. Here I made a couple of tags that just sits behind the mat here. Uh, I cut him out of the paper and of course Halloween 1031. I really like that uh, piece so I cut it out. I added a photo mat here, a button here, and this flips up and of course it's two more photo mats. And then of course, if you watch very many of my videos, you know that I usually have one page that I don't do anything to. Uh, this is my pretty page on this one. Um, I just popped it up to Halloween in Wonderland. I used the 12 by 12 pad, so this was pretty big, and I just cut it out of the sheet that it was on um, and added this black ribbon that I got at Michael's. And, of course, there is a place for a photo if one wanted a photo there, but I just liked it like it was, so. And then you open this up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have made a uh, the black envelope uh, that I get at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they're like the number nine, I think, or something like that, number nine policy envelopes. Uh, this is what this is made out of. It's just a little, a little mini. And you open it, if I don't get my lamp here, um, it has a place that you can just set photos or whatever in, and a photo mat, another little pretty uh, page with that little girl on it. Here is a um, photo mat. I kind of grunged it up and wanted it to look kind of battered. Put the cat on the back of it, and it just sits in this pocket right here and then on the back side is another photo mat and another spot that you can put photos or journaling in and then right here I just offset this photo mat from the purple mat and that's just a place for a photo <clears throat> and then here is the back and I left it just plain because this is at last we thought you'd never arrive um, I thought it would be kind of cute if maybe you just put, you know, your kid's picture or, you know, whoever you're doing the album for just right here or just leave it like it is where they're all just kind of sit down for for dinner. Uh, but anyway, this is the, <coughs> excuse me, this is the album. This is the back side. I really kept it frilly on both sides of the album. Uh, I placed this little tattered uh, card that I got out of the paper and I really tore it up and just put some of that uh, distress stain from Ranger from Tim Holtz uh, on it and uh, made it look aged there too. Um, I did use, on my handles, I did use um, eyelets to hold it on and then uh, tie some ribbon in it so that it would stay put real good. I was afraid if I just used glue dots, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't have never lasted. So I did run the eyelets through it. But anyway, this is my little purse mini, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.